Our meetings are recorded. Mr. Murphy can huff and puff, but he sure can't blow this councilman's brick house down. Ms. Liddell Lewis can huff and puff, but this ain't the little pig's straw house. This is a brick house from a brick house veteran council. I ain't tired of being interrupted, so when are we going to allow him to quit abusing point of information? Point of, point of information, point of order. Mr. Mays. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Lewis, a privileged motion is in the rules, and you didn't want to um, vote to allow adequate and common sense that we've been going under. So you voted. Now you're crying about the rules that's being used properly. Do you realize that? Do you realize that you are talking about common sense? You're not using any. You're acting like a child, a city council child. And the city Point of order. Point of order. Mr. May. If she want to make personal attacks, I'm up for it. So if you allow her to call me a child and make personal attacks, wait and hear what she going to be, Madam Chair, if you allowing these personal attacks. Madam Chair, I want to go ahead and yield the rest of my time, but I want to speak. I'll speak on my behalf, and I vow that when I represent War II, I will not get involved in the pettiness, strictly the city's business. I will work as a team in the best Point interest order. of the city, and that's what I'm looking to Point do. Order. So, so as I, Madam Chair, rule on the previous point of order. Yes, I I am ruling the point the previous point of order that you're referring to. Please, 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 please remind me. Which one I am doing? I am. There has been so point of information, points of order. Madam Chair. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mays. May, uh, Madam Chair, it had to do with her calling me a child and making personal attacks, and I'm trying to prevent because I'll go in on her, and you need to rule whether those personal attacks are relevant no. because I show sure got a lot of them for her if she want to start that. Okay, Mr. Mays. I that I am going to rule that personal attacks are not acceptable in this council, period. And during this meeting, um, we will not. And so that's my ruling is that it, it was inappropriate. And my decision is that it was out of order. So just for a point of clarification, so um, well, I'm out of order. I want to make sure that I, I have it correctly. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, well, thank you. I could swear before God I've been talked about and called names. That's the discrimination. I hear it, and I wait my turn. The minute I call him a name, Mr. Mays, you're out of order. Mr. Mays, you're out of order. You're mocking <laughs> Boy, these guys are hilarious. Come on, y'all. Let's do a right, chop. Get them out of here. This is fixing to happen in the middle of a transfer of $99 million. $99 million. We're facing a $17 million deficit with this group. We had a $24 million fund balance, now privileged motions with a group that don't even know and understand the rules. You have to help them everywhere they go. And then they're going to tell you they can allow folks with ponytails to talk about me. And the minute I call them goopy, Mr. May, Mr. May, y'all go finish it. Go finish it. This is going to be a hug. Get them out of there. Get them out of there. Mr. May. Walking. You are out of order. If you don't stop talking, the next time I tell you out, you're out of order, I will remove you on the disorderly person's rule. I'm trying very hard not to do that. I'm trying very hard not to talk about y'all when I hear y'all talking about me. That's what I'm very, trying very hard not to do. 
and I'm not able to do it. I'm not that type of politician. I wouldn't care if they black, white, purple, or gold. When they talk about Councilman Mays in the first ward, if I have to take two, three meetings, I'm going to bang them because I know politics. And I don't care if it's a discriminatory chair who can hear one council person say something about somebody and can't hear another. I ain't no ways tired of dealing with this racism, white privilege, and black folks that act like Uncle Tom. All right, Mr. Mays, that's it. You're being removed according to Section 3110. Disorderly conduct disrupting a meeting. Janelle, please mute Mr. Mays. I would like I to appeal to remove another chair. There is no appeal when you're being removed under Section 3110. Please I appeal to rule in another chair. Don't mute me, Janelle. I'm appealing to rule in another chair. Please mute Mr. May. I can say Uncle Tom. I can say discrimination. I you. appeal to rule in another Madam chair. Now, Madam President, no, I would no like other to council people are attorney. speaking. I would like to defer. No, to the you are city not attorney. going to hear from the city attorney. You are going to mute Mr. Mays right now. Nope, I appeal to rule another chair. Janelle? I got muted. Janelle muting. He please, out of order. No Warn your ponytail people. friend. Please, no other council people speak. If you do, you are out of order. Janelle, I am the chair of this meeting. I'm the presiding officer, and you will mute Mr. Mays right now. This is on the chair. I appeal to rule another chair. Now, Janelle. Your job is to answer it a second to the appeal, ma'am. That's called a point of order. Point what of you order, trying to get rid of? Miss Wheeler, are you there? Point of order, Madam Chair. Before I answer another point of order, Janelle. I'm going to point of order. You shall remove yourself if you don't recognize a point of order. You shall remove yourself if you don't recognize a point of order. Janelle, I have a legal opinion that says that the staff will follow the orders of the presiding chair. Please mute Mr. Mays. Mr. Mays, your job is to be quiet. You are no, my order. job is to represent 8,000 no black to... folks in this first ward and appeal your ruling from the white lady in the fourth ward. That's my job. Janelle, please mute. Ms. Fields, I appeal to rule in other chair. Your job is to ask is there a second point of order. If you don't recognize a point of order, you shall remove yourself, Madam Dictator. Point of order. Mr. Mays, quit talking, and Janelle, respond No, when I say point of order, you cease talking. Mr. Mays. No, point of order. You you cease talking. Mr. Mays, Janelle. I appeal the ruling, and those two things are in the rules now. No other council person should be speaking. Ruling out of order, Ms. Fields. Goodbye. The recording has started. I'm sorry, the call dropped. Janelle, have you muted me? No. No. Okay. <clears throat> because I know I did a point of order and an appeal. I don't know where she's coming from. The rules ain't even changed yet. Just a dictate. Nasty. Nasty. Mr. Mays, quit talking. Stop talking. Well, did you You honor my appeal? Janelle? I'm trying to get clarification. I'm trying to get clarification. Point of order. Ms. Wheeler? I normally wouldn't do this because you've already written a legal opinion on this. When 
Are you there? You just wrote a legal yes, opinion that said when a chair is ruling. Hello. Thank you, Ms. Wheeler. Janelle? Have Point of information, Madam Chair. Um, no, she said the council. Mr. So May, the council controls talking. the council. I appeal. Stop point of order. Talking, Mr. May. Point of order. You stop, stop talking. talking when I you say point of order. From this meeting. Point of Janelle? order. When I. Thank you, Janelle. And I'm going to discuss this later in the meeting. Mr. Mays is. Mr. Mays has been removed according to Section 3110, Disruptive Disorderly Behavior, during a meeting. So, we are back on the last bit of discussion on this That's resolution. We're we, we putting some papers on you. Please, please mute whoever that is, Janelle. The next caller has been unmuted if they'd like to speak to counsel. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Hi, this is Barbara Moore, and I'm calling, uh, I'm picking back up from the last committee meeting for special affairs. Uh, last week, Councilman Mays, you stated that my character was in question or people would begin to question my character. My character is not in question. Anybody that knows me on a professional or a personal level know that I have an impeccable record. And Councilman Mays, your behavior is really, really, really terrible. And if you can't see it, then I know that you have a problem. You always want to be the center of attention and, and say, I, 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 I. You want to get credit for everything. Take credit for what you're not doing and for all the chaos that you're causing for the city of Flint. city of Flint can't even move forward because of you. And then we got, uh, like today when I was on the meeting, my auntie called me. I had the phone on speakerphone. She called my cell phone. I answered. She heard your voice. And she told me, I don't want to hear him. She, I'm not going to say the word that she said because she's in your ward. And she said, you think you're comfortable that you're going to be able to stay there. And, and like I say, you can say what you want to say. Uh, no, I don't live in your ward, and I don't vote in the city of Flint. Just like people talking stuff about me like not living in the city of Flint, but some people live in Massachusetts talking, saying that I shouldn't be able to play the recording. Yeah, But that's okay because... The person that they're supporting is so negative and they're on the same level as them, that doesn't make me any difference because, like I said, my reputation speaks for me and it speaks loudly, just like your reputation speaks for you and it speaks volumes of negativity. You're trying to corrupt the city of Flint. You're trying to stop everything that the mayor is trying to do. And y'all keep talking to the wall. White supremacists do not listen to people who are empathetic. They are not going to be empathetic to you. They just keep escalating this. They escalate, escalate, escalate. They trigger Eric. We, we, we just sit here. Here come the trigger. Here come the trigger. There go Eric. There go Eric. Night after night after night. This is white supremacy at its finest. In Flint, Michigan. The next caller has been unmuted if they'd like to speak to counsel. Hi, Janelle. Thank you so much. This is Robert Jones. I was calling um, Happy Thursday to the council. Um, yes, yesterday was very disturbing, but I'm not going to sing the, the Black National Anthem today um, like I did last night, but <clears throat> it is alleged. And I always say alleged because I don't want to be sued. I don't want people to think I'm talking about them. But it's alleged that KKK fields and Eva Worthless are at a KKK rally there in Flint, Michigan today. That's why they didn't show up. So it was alleged Point that of, they're uh, there. I don't know if it's true. Uh, sir, sir, sir. Uh, please I'm not, not talking about nobody, attack. Chair. I'm not, I'm not attacking anyone. It's alleged. Someone's alleged, sure, like they said, council mem they said council member Mays, they thought was sure, I'm drunk. Gonna let you, they I'm alleged. Gonna let you, I'm going to let you finish. Just stay away from anything that could be perceived as a personal attack. Thank you. But you it's can not a personal statement. attack. That's why I'm saying alleged. When Kate Phil said that council member, council member Mays was drunk, she said she thought. It's not a personal attack, so... It's alleged that they're at a KKK rally in Flint, Michigan. All right, sir. Thank you for saying that. But Janelle, please mute. Sir, 
you can how you know please meet the speaker. Thank you. Next speaker, please. And Mr. Gary, I'm gonna eventually take up for that guy you ordered off, but I'm trying to be polite. The next one is from Xavier Luster. I would like to discuss a few issues that concern me. My cousin, Kenyon Powell, was killed March 21st at the liquor store on Pearson Road. Crime is outrageous, which needs to be addressed, and something must be done about these liquor stores as well as Club Sunoco. I would love to hear Mayor Neely address crime instead of COVID and blight every Saturday. Councilman Eric Mays, I am getting sick and tired of you. You are too focused on Mayor Neely and Murdoch instead of the crime-ridden ward that you represent. Murdoch did exactly what he was supposed to do because you ran your mouth. Kudos to Murdoch. Let's Notice I don't do black and white, race this, race that. We're all the same. We all, I represent all residents of this community, not just the black. I'm wrapping up, Madam Chair. But the foolishness of this first ward councilman, he hate to hear he think everybody's so in love with him when clearly uh, uh, the House of Bring and a lot of his constituents called me oftentimes frustrated with him with his getting drunkenness and everything else. Please, please wrap so, up, Mr. Davis. Uh, point of order, Madam Chair. Point of order. What is your point of order, Mr. Mays? My point of order is that you read the rules. Now, he, he didn't call me a drunk. Ain't known me but four years out of 62, and you letting the personal attacker go. He deserved one warning. He got put out earlier, calling me a dog. Warning, please. Mr. Mays, I did not hear. I, I don't know if it was uh, the volume or the speech or whatever, but I didn't hear name calling because I would call him out of order. Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. Point Mr. Mays, Mr. Mays, I have to finish speaking on this point of order first. So, since I did not hear him call you a name, um, I'm denying your point of order. Now, now, what is your next point what? of order? My point of order, Miss Madam Chair, is this is recorded. You can run it back with the clerk. You can ask all kind of people listening. He just called me a drunk. I'm not a drunk. It's a personal attack, but, you know, he can call me what he wants. And you don't have to rule because you didn't hear it. You was muted a minute ago. We heard it. So my point is, is that do you have to hear it in order for it to be true? Can you check? And he deserves a warning. He got put out earlier for the same thing, calling me a dog. Now, if you want me to break loose and give Miss Moore and them something to really talk about her and Xavier Lester, let it go. Because I know how to talk good, and I know how to call names good and make personal attacks good. That's my point. Let's see what you do. I heard it. I don't believe you didn't. But if you didn't, we heard it. Mr. Mays, that was pretty lengthy for a point of order, but I will say it again. Uh, when I'm muted, it only means that I can't speak, so you can't hear me. It doesn't mean that I'm not listening. But I did not That's hear That's why I believe you heard Mr. it. Mr. Mays, you're out of order. I did not hear him say that. If I did, if I heard a name calling, like calling you a drunk, I would have called him out of order. If you didn't hear it and you think I'm lying and you ain't checking my point of information, is don't get upset because I'm going to sit up here and thank her some names. It's all like popcorn. Ward 1, Mr. Mays. Yeah, that's good. I was hoping he would stop with Ward 1. I want to make a referral to the city attorney. Um, I had a freedom of information request come in as it related to my Facebook page. I'm knowing that Barbara Moore, Xavier Luster, and all of these people who seem to see things different from the majority of people. God bless you, uh, uh, Ms. Moore. 14,000 people or so voted for me last time, 12, 14,000, and then six, 800 for my nicer sounding than you opponent. I know her very well. I know the community. But I heard that. I got a call about what Mr. Davis was saying on a podcast, and I want to make a referral because we're not going to tolerate threats and folks calling in such as 
Miss Moore, Xavier Lust, to see things differently. These are them same podcast groupies. That's what I'm calling them. And they don't know it's a dangerous game. Mr. Murdoch, that state police report just went to the media two days ago. The state police asked that a warrant be issued for Mr. Murdoch, Mr. Davis, while you're saying you'll do worse than to me than he did. I didn't know about the itchy trigger, trigger finger. But if this stuff is true, then I'll call in the FBI. Ain't nobody going to be living in a town with folks fooling folks, weak-minded folks listening, weak-minded folks making threats. I'm going to catch a breath. But these people ain't calling in for that. And if you vote yes, you will overturn the ruling of the chair and know you will support it. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Don't scare me. I'm fine with it. Not bothered. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Now, Madam Chair, you're out of order. You're out of order. We have the colleague in the A4 jumping at the chair. That's out of order. Just so like you don't jump, jump there? just like you didn't stand up and, and charge at Miss Burns. I did. That was I, out I of charge order. at people. But just like you you're out of order. tires. So you're out of order. That's you fine. had no that's right fine. to even that's say fine. what you so said. Well, well, call. That's fine. It's fine. So go ahead and stand up. You break it all the time anyway. I'm fine with that. Look so this meeting is a joyful lack of quorum. Everyone have a Merry Christmas.